Hi everyone. So I am back with a really short video. I just wanted to show you guys my little cabbage. This is the first cabbage that I have ever grown. It is so cute. This one has an actual head. Um, this one, not quite, uh, but they are starting to go to seed. So I came in, washed them. I'm going to wash them again. And I started, um, cutting them so I just want to take you guys along so give me one second I'm going to show you guys um, what it looked like after I cook it and maybe a, a quick test okay thanks I'm so excited look at my little cabbage I cut it in the middle and it sounded like it was huge but look at it that is a pretty purple um, carrot I actually match my nails um, Look at that. So it looks really healthy. Um, so I'm going to cook it along with the leaves and we'll see what it tastes like. Be back in a minute. Here's the cabbage all cut up. Um, I'm going to wash it one more time. Isn't that pretty? Look at those pretty colors. I've never had uh, purple cabbage, just the green cabbage. So this shall be exciting and I'll be right back. All right, y'all. So I'm going to add a little bit of oil. To the pan let that get nice and toasty and in that pan I'm going to add a little bit of onions and a little bit of green pepper um, now we only we know that the cabbage is only a couple of tablespoons for it it's not a, a big uh, serving is what I'm trying to say so I don't want to overpower it with too many vegetables. So let's get nice and toasty. And then we're going to add these. Okay. while that's cooking. Now, typically I would use um, chicken stock, but unfortunately I don't have any. So this is my next go-to that I use when I do not have any. I just have to season my water, which is no problem at all. So let that cook down. And once it starts to cook down, I'm going to add some water and then add my seasoning. Be right back. So as the water is coming to a boil, I start to add my seasonings, which is a little salt. I could add fresh garlic, but I'm not. I'm, it's just a little bit, so I'm going to add a little garlic powder. A little onion powder. a little black pepper, and a little bit of Slap Your Mama seasoning, just for taste, and a little complete. All right. I stir that around and let it come up to a nice brothy type and let all the flavor soak in. And now I'm gonna add the cabbage. I almost forgot y'all to add my butter. Everything tastes better with butter. So we're gonna add that. And now we're gonna start to add our cabbage. It looks like a lot, but as you know, cabbage is full of water, so we know it'll cook down. And I don't know who else does this, but um, I'm making a mess here. 
But at the end, when I add my cabbage in, I always add a splash of um, vinegar, and that gives it a little bit of, makes the flavor comes out. Like you add it to collards, but just a little bit. And guys, I don't even stir it around. I just let it sit there and cook down. And when I come back, we're going to have some fresh cabbage from Dell's Garden. See you in a minute. All right, y'all. Here is the finished purple cabbage. Um, actually, we had more than we thought we would have. I thought it was just a, a little bit, but that's quite a lot right there. So we're going to plate up a little bit. I'm going to give it a little taste. It's still pretty with those colors. Look at the juice. And with that, I have made, I know this doesn't go together, but it's going to go together today. I have made a um, pan of uh, shrimp fried rice. So I'm going to put a little bit that, of that on the side. Let's see what we can do. This is my dinner, y'all. Let's see what the cabbage tastes like. Oh my goodness. Y'all, it is so delicious. It tastes just like a, a cabbage, but see, like, I think I like this better. That is delicious. So I hope you guys enjoy. This is um, something new on this channel that I think I might do from time to time. But I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you have a great Easter. And I'll see you again soon. May the good Lord bless you all real good.